Hey guys, today I got a little comparison video for y'all. Um, a couple days ago I had a cluster come in that was completely dead and needed to be rebuilt. And it had these uh, little black uh, stepper motors in them that uh, everyone refers to them as, you know, the cheap Chinese knockoffs or whatever. And I think they're really just more of a clone that happens to work. But, uh, yeah, they're definitely not the genuine X27s. They, um, and... Everyone really knocks them and says they're trash. So I've never, I've never used them, and since the board that he brought in was completely dead, and I was working on it, it was, I, I went ahead and put genuine X27s in there. But um, basically, I was just tearing them down to do a little comparison video for y'all, since I now have all three uh, different types sitting around here. So uh, I pulled them open. I'm just gonna show you the difference in them. So. The uh, the X27 that I got that's pulled open, uh, it uh, it it's actually the only one I've ever had that failed on me. But I figured I'd pull it open. I pulled it open a couple months ago actually, so I've lost uh, two of the pieces in there. But they're they're basically well, I I lost one of the pieces. I just lost the little gear that goes there. But um, it it looks exactly the same as the one that comes out of the C5. So the only real difference I've noticed in the X27 and the C5 is the the actual motor itself that's in there. Uh, the X27, if you can tell on the video, that one is made out of metal, while the C5 is made out of plastic. So that's really the, the only difference in the two. Um, in the very back of the housing, it's actually drilled all the way through for the metal to go through, um, and the C5s are not. It is, see, it's solid there. The, that hole doesn't go all the way through for it to connect to. But the cheap Chinese clones or whatever they are, they're actually very different on the inside. If you notice, it has three gears, well, four gears instead of two. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess, I guess you'd say four. So it's one, two, three, and then four is the motor there. Um, this one has all, uh, they're all metal on all of the connections there. Um, however, it does have a lot smaller of a, copper winding in there but from all from what I can tell I don't see anything really wrong with these uh, it all the gears make connection twice on it so just once let me grab some tweezers and pull the motor off or the gear off there but yeah see sorry that was out of shot so you can see it makes contact twice and then it makes contact once with the motor on there but um and then the, this guy just makes contact once. So I guess they don't all make contact twice, just those two. But they seem perfect, perfectly fine. The, the only real problem I had is when I was desoldering, um, the legs broke off like not well, like most of them. One, one leg would just break off like nothing. Like there's no force required, and they just kind of snap right off of there. But uh, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with these. Um, I, I didn't really see anything too wrong with them, but I'm, I'd rather play it safe and just use the genuine X27s instead of the um, uh, clones here. But I just figured y'all might be interested to see the inside of them and see what's... The, the most interesting part to me is just the very little of a difference between the X27 and the C5. All is, all is what makes the difference is just that plastic tip on there. You can see how this one's sitting in there flexed already, so it looks like it's just too much force for that little, little plastic gear there, and it just kind of pushes off to where it doesn't, it binds up or just doesn't rotate, so. Yeah, it seems to be what's wrong with the C5, so it's just that little, little, little bit of plastic just you know, that small attention to detail makes all the difference when you're making a product like this. So, you know, I'm just going to, even though I saw these, see the inside, and don't really see anything really wrong with it, I'm just going to continue to use X27s. 
and who knows how long this one had been in that guy's truck, the one that failed. Uh, and I, I guess I can't prove that this one's actually a genuine X27 since it came out of somebody else's truck and it's not one of the ones I ordered. But yeah, he brought it to me and yeah, it, I replaced it for him. I think this one was in his oil pressure spot, but yeah. And that's just a little short comparison of the, the three different motors. So I would say either if you're just fixing your own cluster, either one of these will work. But if you're going to fix them for other people, just play it safe and stick to these. Um, and I would never reuse a C5. I, uh, I, I've seen it. I've seen boards that I've repaired where either like mm, give them benefit of the doubt and say maybe maybe they reflowed them but it was definitely you know somebody soldered on some c5s uh, i've i've seen some that are for sure they just put a used c5 on there because it had uh three uh it was an impala cluster it had two ec X15s, which are the original ones on those Impala clusters, and then I had one C5. So somebody definitely just put a used C5 on there. And by the way, the, the X15s, I don't know if I have any on hand, but it's the same as the C5, except it has like two little vent holes drilled in it. Um, let's see, uh, is this one a... No, that's a C5. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, here's an X15, so... Let's see, yep, see it has two little vent holes drilled in the bottom of it. Um, but everything else is the same in it as the, uh, the C5. So the, yeah, the C5, X15, yeah. They, they're the, the same garbage, but, yeah. Just thought I'd share that with y'all. Um, I, I got some new soldering tips too, but, uh, yeah. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed. See you next time.